Hey folks, Edgar B. Herwick III here from GBH's Curiosity Desk, where you ask questions and I find answers. Today's question came our way on Twitter from Emily Warden. Now, when I first saw this question, I was like, yes, that is so good. Microwaves do all sound the same. And then I was like, but wait a minute, do they sound exactly the same? I mean, I know they sound alike, but like exactly the same? Let's put it to the test. Okay, so I quickly got my hands on every microwave I could find here at WGBH. My apologies to James in accounting. I'm gonna set them all to five seconds and then I'm gonna put them on in succession. We should be able to hear a bunch of tones at the same time. That should really give us a sense of if they are exactly the same or not. Yep, so they're all right there between a B and a B sharp. Not exactly the same, but pretty darn similar. And it turns out there is a reason for that. Popcorn. For decades, the same piece of technology was used in nearly all microwaves to generate that classic microwave sound, a little device called a piezoelectric buzzer. It's essentially a, um, a membrane that vibrates uh, and is electrically charged and uh, uh, vibrates to create a sound fairly, very similar to the way a speaker works. Piezoelectricity was first described by Pierre and Jacques Curie way back in 1880. It is essentially an electric charge that can accumulate in certain materials when physical pressure is applied. That part piezo comes from a Greek word that means press or squeeze. Now the piezoelectric buzzer harnesses that charge to generate that simple beep. It was first brought to market by Japanese manufacturers in the 1950s and quickly proved to be a worldwide hit. Now on the one hand, they're pretty versatile, used not just in microwaves, but also smoke alarms and timers and all sorts of gadgets. On the other hand, they are extremely limited in what they can do. We could set the frequency, but we couldn't do much more than that. Um, the frequency and the length of that uh, uh, note was about all we had uh, available to us. This is why, for decades, nearly all microwaves have sounded the same. But today, it is a whole different ballgame. Thanks to digital technologies developed mainly for mobile phones, a veritable symphony of sounds is now available, literally, at the touch of a button. There, so you will hear that little beep at the end of it, but it's a lot more organic, it's a lot more musical, and it's a lot more subtle and nuanced. This new world order does present some challenges. After all, that iconic microwave beep might not be spellbinding, but it is deeply familiar. Designers like Hughes have to come up with just the right combination of bleeps and blurps that says, hey, your popcorn is ready, just as effectively. That's the main objective uh, we're trying to accomplish is communicate to you in a meaningful way um, and a thoughtful way that uh, your task's complete. Don't forget to like and subscribe and perhaps most importantly, let me know what you are curious about because as you can see, I might just look into it for you. I'm Edgar B. Hobart III. Stay curious out there. Oh, that was it though. See, that was it though. All right. You gotta go back. You gotta throw it a little bit back. That's the technique. The Curiosity Desk is sponsored by Emerson College, inspiring curiosity and creative expression in all of us.